right? That's what we talked about when the Kansas City Chiefs played the Las Vegas Raiders. A lot of missed tackles. Bills were sure tacklers in space. Milano made a huge play on Clyde edwards Hilaire that I think would have went for 30 mm. in the flats if he wouldn't have got him on the ground. We cannot talk about this game, all right, and focus on Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes <laughs> with a score of 24-20 <laughs> and not mention defense. All about the okay? defense. That's, That's what it was about. Best defensive plan I've seen in years. Yeah, Leslie was By in the, the Bills, bag. yeah. It was yeah. unreal. Yeah. It was well, unreal. The different looks was phenomenal. Yeah. All right, so that's that. That was fun. Oh, wait, Mina, you get to go first. Oh. Sorry, I was I was moving ahead. I was going to offense. No, that's okay. Go ahead, Mina. Thank you, Emma. No, I mean, um, Marcus, you gave me a great segue. I mean, earlier I was talking about Cliff Kingsbury and the Cardinals' offense being static. The Bills' defense is dynamic. He tailors his game plans week to week, um, and this was no exception. You know, coming into this game, the Bills played – they're primarily a zone team. Uh, they played man coverage on just 28% of dropbacks. This week that bumps up to 54%. Mm -hmm. And it's something I think we're actually going to continue seeing against the Chiefs. We saw it with the Raiders game last week as well because these wide receivers outside of Travis Kelsey aren't really consistently beating man coverage. Now, last week against the Raiders, Patrick was perfect against man coverage, but the margin for error for him is so much smaller because of the talent that they have, the absence of Tyree Kill, and I thought the Bills played it perfectly this mm. week. Yeah, I will say, you mentioned Tyree Kill. For all the people that want to blame the Chiefs' loss on Tyree Kill, maybe it's just the Bills' defense is really good, and maybe it's just because they have Josh Can Allen. Right. Get really fast. The game was closed out the same way against him. Yeah, interesting, right? It has something to do with the guy. Okay, Josh Allen did become the first quarterback to beat Patrick Mahomes twice at Arrowhead Stadium. He's now thrown for at least 300 yards, oh three touchdowns, God. without an interception in each of his last three games against KC. Allen is the second player in NFL history to post those numbers in three straight games against a single opponent. Joining Drew Brees, who did it against the Packers. My goodness. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.